Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way that I've found to live stream a talk show or a podcast. So in this tutorial, we'll be using a tool called Restream. And Restream is best known for their tools that allow you to multi-stream to maybe Twitch, Facebook, things like that at the same time. But they've recently released this tool right here that I'm using right now called Live Studio. It allows you to live stream from your browser. Now, other than the fact that this allows you to live stream from a Chromebook, a low budget computer, or even your cell phone, one of the coolest things about this is that you can invite guests by simply sending them this link. And when they open it up, they can join your talk show or your podcast. So you don't have to worry about them installing software or having anything set up. They just open the link and then Restream will handle the rest. So in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to get this set up so that you can do this and then how to invite other people and then run your stream from there. Now, before we get started, I do want to disclose that Restream is sponsoring this video. So thank you to Restream for making this video possible. Now to get started, the first thing you need to do is simply go to Restream.io and check the description because I'll have all the links I discuss as well as a detailed write-up down there. Once you get to Restream, create an account. They do have a free version that is very capable and you can actually do a podcast or a talk show with that with up to six different guests. So that's pretty cool there. If you want to have more than six guests or you want to remove the Restream logo from your live stream, you're going to have to get one of the paid versions here. If you're interested in using one of the paid versions, check the description because if you use my link, you'll get $10 off your first month. So that makes it very affordable to try out your first time. All right, so once you log into your Restream account, you'll be brought to the destinations page. And this will allow us to add what they call channels. So channels are going to be like Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, any of the platforms that you want to live stream to. Now with the free version, you can multi-stream completely for free. So what I recommend doing is going into add channels and just adding any channels that you want to live stream to. It's a very easy process and I'll go through Twitch right now just so you can see it. You simply select the platform you want to add, connect to it. And this means you have to give access to restream to that platform. So as you can see, I have to give them access to my Twitch channel. So I select at, authorize at the bottom, make sure you read through all this and that you're okay with it. Once I select authorize, it'll bring me back to Restream where then it will show up under my list of channels. And if I wanna stream to it, all I need to do is make sure that this is toggled on. So as you can see, I have Facebook added, but I have it turned off so I won't be live streaming there. Once you get your channels added, you're ready to go into Live Studio where when you join, you'll be asked to allow access to your camera and your microphone. So I'm gonna make sure I have the right camera selected there. And this is the correct microphone. So select allow in your browser. And then as you can see right here, this is an example of what your talk show or your podcast will look like. Now, before we start adding or inviting people to join our talk show or podcast, let's go over how to use Restream Studio. So at the bottom, you have controls to mute your mic, also disable your camera, you could share your screen down here by just selecting share screen and then your browser will ask you what you want to share. So I'm going to select my browser. As you can see, it gives me a preview and then I can select allow. Once you add your shared screen, it'll show up over here in the spotlight. And anytime you invite a guest, they'll show up in the spotlight here. All you have to do to enable them is toggle it on. And as you can see, it added that to the live stream. So during my talk show, if I wanted to share my screen, I could have it show both me, my guest, and my screen that I'm sharing. Now you can move these things around here by changing the format at the top. So we can do something like this, which I recommend mostly for if you're just going to be having participants in your talk show or your podcast. You can also turn off different areas in the spotlight right here. So I can just have my shared screen, things like that. After that, we have the ability to invite guests and we'll get into that later. We also have the ability to play a local video. So if you wanted to play something that you're going to analyze in your podcast or your talk show, or maybe an intro, you could add that there. And it has to be an MP4 file up to 150 megabytes. And then finally, we have some settings down here where we can change the microphone, the webcam, and then also the quality. You can go up to 1080p if you have a paid version. Over here in the right side, we have the chat. So if we have multiple platforms such as Twitch and YouTube, we will see all the chat for those platforms in here. So if I go over to Twitch and I send a message, it'll show up in the chat over here. And it also shows me which platform it is. Now, if that message in chat was a good message and I wanna highlight it, all I do is select show and it'll bring it up, show it on my live stream, which is great because this will not only be shown to everybody that is watching your live stream, it'll be in the recording as well. 
After that, we have captions, and this is where you can have text displayed on your screen. So I have one made up right here. Subscribe now on YouTube, and then it gives the YouTube name. And you can easily make these and show them and hide them as many times as you want by just adding a primary text and your secondary text down here, and then you're good to go. After that, we have graphics, and this does require a paid version to upload your logo. You can also change your background image and then also put an overlay on there if you wanted to as well. Finally, we have setup, and this is where you can add a title and description that will be sent to the platforms that you live stream to. And then you can also turn on and off the different destinations that you've added. And then finally, once you want to live stream, all you need to do is select go live. So now that I've shown you how to use Restream Studio here, let's go over how to invite participants to your talk show or your podcast. And it's very easy. All we need to do is go down to the bottom here where it says invite guests, select that, and then it will give you a link. We can simply copy it right here with this button. Then all we need to do is share that with anybody that we want to join either through like text, email, Skype, anything like that. So I'm just going to paste it into another browser so you can see what it will look like when they try to join and you can also see how it works. So I'll paste it real quick. It'll go through the same steps that it does when you open up Restream Studio. So you have to allow access to your camera and microphone. I'm going to mute the mics just to avoid any echo on my side. But basically right here, they're getting a preview of what the stream looks like. Then they can see themselves right here. Now over on my side, I would see that the guest has been added and I can turn them on by just selecting this little toggle switch right here. And then as you can see, it's showing both of my webcams. I can also change the format of that so you can see both of us. The guest also has the ability to add their name and then they also have the ability to view the chat below. Now, if they want to, they can share their screen. So if I do that real quick and when they share their screen, it'll give them a preview at the bottom. And then over on my side, I can enable their screen share and also keep their webcam. So they, so the guests can not only share something, but it, they can be shown on the webcam at the same time, which is very cool. All right, so now what I've done here is I've actually shared the link and opened it on my cell phone. So now you can see that I have two guests in my podcast, one on a phone and one on a computer. So even if they don't have the ability to use a Chromebook or computer, they can still join with using just their cell phone. Very cool. Now to get an idea of what this looks like when you're actually live streaming, I'm gonna go live right here. So now we're live streaming. When we go over to Twitch, you can see that it is live streaming right now with my two guests on my podcast or my talk show. Now to end my stream, all I need to do is select finish right here and then confirm and then it is no longer live. But even though we're off the air, we're no longer live, I can still chat and have a conversation with anyone who has joined my live stream. And once you've ended your live stream, if you wanna download an audio or MP4 video version of your recording for maybe posting to YouTube or a podcast site, simply find recordings in the left sidebar and then it will show the recordings in chronological order from when they were filmed. And you can download the audio version by selecting download audio version. You can download the video version or you can even watch a preview of it, which is pretty cool. And one thing about the recordings, it does require a paid version of Restream and they will only be kept for 15 days. All right, so that's how you live stream a podcast or a talk show with Restream Studio. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more live streaming tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.